Good afternoon. I've got a short local delivery this afternoon before I head to the airport, so I'm gonna take you along with me. Let's go. Uh. Yeah. our quick 15 mile trip through Laguna Beach to Newport Beach. John Wayne Airport now because I have a flight to San Jose, California where I'm going to pick up a puppy. Um, but before then I need to make a stop by CVS because I need to get children's Benadryl. So I often use Benadryl to help puppies relax uh, whenever we're flying together. Children's Benadryl is perfectly healthy. We always um, check with the pet parent first, but it is vet recommended. We've had no problems. I do want to mention though the difference between like the regular adult Benadryl and the children's Benadryl. If you look here, the adult Benadryl, it is 25 milligrams, okay, for one capsule. And if you look at the children's Benadryl, it is 12.5 milligrams. And it's the same chemicals are in both versions, the adult and the children's, um, but it's at a lower dose. And the difference between the children's also is that this is a chewable, and this normally you have to swallow. This is a liquid form, so I could technically just use the liquid. It is vet recommended for puppies just to help them sleep or just to help them relax a little bit if we're traveling maybe on a long five hour flight, which I do have a few coming up. The vets recommend one milligram per pound of the puppy. So if I have a 12 pound puppy, one chewable is perfect for him. I personally even half that dose. So I would probably give a 12 pound puppy just one half of these chewable forms. So give it a try, see if it helps you. I just got a text message from Southwest Airlines saying your flight is delayed for an hour. So it's okay, I got plenty of time today. Um, I am flying to San Jose because I have a puppy to pick up there around 6 p.m. and then we have an overnight flight going to JFK. So it's a long day, um, but this has been one of those like easy days at home where I just kind of did some cleaning in the morning, had my local delivery, and now I'm just making my way to the airport. The airport's kind of my office, so I try to schedule some extra time to be there so that I can use that waiting time to answer client emails, send contracts, and kind of handle the admin side of this business. This is beautiful Dottie. She is an airport therapy dog at the John Wayne Airport, and I'm so glad I got to meet her today. She's about to end her shift. She's had a long day of giving people attention. One thing I love about traveling to all different kinds of airports is that you get a taste for every city you travel in. They all have some local art displayed and it really gives you a spirit of the city. And this is Mickey. Mickey is a six month old Pomeranian. And we're gonna take a minute just to get to know one another before we have to go check in with the airline. I'm also using this carry-on bag for the first time. This bag is by Roverland. And I always use the large sizes because they tend to give any puppy just a little bit of extra room while we're traveling together.
I have elite status with Alaska Airlines, so we got lucky and got a free upgrade today. Good night, and we will see you in New York. I got one last selfie with this little sweet potato and his mama met us right outside of baggage claim. Now I have about two hours here at the JFK airport and I happen to have a free pass to the American Airlines lounge so I'm gonna go check it out and get some free breakfast and wait around to my next flight. I'm taking a short flight to Buffalo, New York, where I'm picking up my next passenger. I'm just hoping I get a quick nap before he stops by to see me. <coughs> oh my goodness, you're so dramatic. <laughs> This is Brimstone, AKA Brim, and he is a nine and a half week old husky puppy. He is missing his family a little bit, so I'm having to spend a lot of time just to help make him comfortable. I brought about three toys, and this ended up being his absolute favorite one. He's a wild one though, he's got a lot of energy and it took us many hours of playing before he finally decided to sleep. We have to catch our airport shuttle tomorrow morning around 5 a.m. So if he's sleeping, I am gonna sleep too so we can both have a great start to our day. Good morning! We've got about an hour before our flight starts to board, so we're gonna hang out in this family restroom to help Brim get a little bit more comfortable in his carry-on. Truthfully, Brim is a little bit too tall for this carrier, but my job is to get him home safely, so I'm gonna do everything I can to make that happen. First three hour flight down, one more three hour flight to go. And we're gonna find another family restroom because it's the best place to let him out of his carrier so that he has a chance to stretch and eat some food and bark all that he wants. <laughs> this is also a great time for me to take some glamour shots of this beautiful puppy and send them to his family to let them know all is well. Brim made it to the arms of his new mom here in Bozeman, Montana. And now it's time for me to head back home to California. This place is absolutely beautiful. I think next time I fly this direction, I'll have to spend a day. I am in Seattle. I have one more flight until I'm officially home and then I have three days off. It's gonna be 
glorious. I'm definitely going to spend time at the pool. I dropped off our beautiful husky friend um, in Bozeman and I went to reach in my pocket to, to take a photo like I usually do whenever I deliver and I realized I didn't have my cell phone <laughs> and I was thinking where could I possibly have left my cell phone? I left it in the bathroom right when I got off the plane which was still inside the airport and so I <laughs> had to basically like run to get back in through security to get my cell phone which was in the bathroom so waiting for me so there you go that's just how tired i am brim's mama sent me this photo when they got home just saying thank you he's so handsome definitely not the first time i've left my cell phone somewhere i've also left my cell phone inside of a van one time and i didn't realize it until i was going through security with a puppy and realized i don't have time to go back to the van <laughs> to get my cell phone before this flight leave i had to do an entire flight and a delivery without my cell phone And there is John Wayne himself, which means I am back home in Orange County where I started. Here's to more furry friends in the future. I'll see you in the sky.